Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm back with another reveal video and today I'll be sharing the new Build a Fairy Garden die set. This die set comes with 13 dies and it's loaded with fun little fairies and cute little mushrooms and even one giant mushroom as well as a border die. And I did cut all of them out for you so you could see what they look like. This little die here actually cuts out little stars that could be used as fairy dust. The mushroom caps cut out separately, so the mushroom bases can be used by themselves, or you can add the cap on top of it. I think the mushrooms would be really fun cut from patterned paper, or you could stamp on them with some type of background or pattern stamp. Uh, the tartan plaid background stamp by Whimsy comes to mind. I did cut out a couple of the mushrooms so that you could see what they looked like. I did the base with a tan colored cardstock and then the tops with the yellow cardstock and a red cardstock. The big mushroom can be used with just the base of the mushroom and the mushroom cap. And then there are these other two little pieces and I'm going to put it together here for you so you can kind of see what it looks like except that my cardstock is not cooperating. But this little piece here, it is... This little piece here is for the underside of the mushroom. So to put it together, you do the base and then the mushroom cap. Then you put the underside on there. And then you put the other single stem on top of that to cover up that seam. I do have a couple of samples to share with you. This first sample, I did sort of a monochromatic look in all purples and blacks. And I did use the new Enchanted Forest background paper for this card. For my second card, I decided to create a little night scene with the fairies, and of course, I decided to make it a light-up card. I will have a video post a little bit later today sharing how I created that light-up card. And that's it. That finishes up this reveal video. Thank you so much for joining me. For more information, I'll have that linked in the description box below for you. For more inspiration, make sure you head on over to the Whimsy Stamps blog. We'd love to have you follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook group. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.